Hey guys, it's your girl Najwa. Welcome back to my channel. Really quickly, I just wanted to talk about Donald Trump's arraignment. Um, I saw this video this morning because I've been following really, really closely. Um, the arraignment is going to happen at like in four hours at 2.15 New York time. So um, I just wanted to post this video really quickly. Basically, I watched this video quite early this morning that I wanted to share with you guys. And I wanted your thoughts on it's from Joy Reid from um, MSNBC. And she's talking with... I'm a Rosa Manigault Newman and Tim O'Brien and basically they said uh, as people who are really experienced with Trump one of them of which who's worked with him during his administration the other who's followed him closely as a commentator throughout his career they say oh he is actually really scared he might be putting on a brave face but he's really scared and I say he essentially is feeling what the American people and what many people around the globe have been feeling for seven years now, especially women, especially people of color. And yeah, that call it karma, call it retribution. I call it justice. Yeah. You know, it's so funny that so many law and order Republicans um, like David Patman mentioned are, you know, up in arms right now that, you know, Donald Trump. Um, is being indicted and demand to see the documents, demand to see evidences. Um, yeah, but even though that's not within the legal bounds of law and order, you know, now they want to switch up the rules. When people have literally been living in fear because of this crazy orange man for seven years. Now, um, basically Amorosa says that he's putting on a brave face but he's really scared and the vibes that I'm getting I mean really quick what I want to say is very simple in this video I'm getting Jeffrey Epstein vibes not from the acts that he's committed they both have a committed atrocious acts I mean inciting hate that threatens to overtake our capital of democracy I mean how can these people call themselves constitutional republicans and be so about upholding patriotism and american values and they were threatening to overthrow our seat of democracy you know not even take into effect the emotionally unintelligent just rhetoric that they've been pumping out for years that have had women blacks brown people uh you know People outside of a religion of white Christian dudes, uh, um, poor people, um, all types of people, the most vulnerable in society, literally scared straight about these implications. Um, yeah, so um, I think that it's definitely giving me Jeffrey Epstein vibes. Maybe the crime isn't the same. But if you noticed, if you ever watched some of those court case filings with... Yeah, um, I'm really, really getting Epstein vibes, really getting those vibes of someone who is putting on a brave face. They know that the, the ball game is coming to an end. They know that they've done wrong, and um, but they've been kind of hiding it behind a bunch of pride. And we saw what happened to Jeffrey Epstein is, you know, really, is this the person that you want to see representing America, not just the Republican Party, but America? It's a democracy. You have to think about things in terms of not just you, but the people around you. Is this really who you want representing our country? Is this what represents our country accurately? I think not. I think not. And. I, I really don't want to underemphasize. I don't think that we're just dealing with um, a sane guy here. And, and, and the, the type of followers that he's cultivated for seven years, I don't think that their attraction, their devotion to him is sane. I don't think that this is just something that's cut and dry and simple. I think that this goes to deep, deep, deep roots of... Um, prejudice, idolatry, hatred, patriarchy in our society, but it also points to where people just have channeled their fear into an unfit leader. He's unfit. Call it retribution, call it whatever you want, call it karma, but um, he's unfit to be leader. You know, just even this idea of this man governing from, from, from prison, seriously. Are you that stubborn as to not just say, okay, we'll move on. That's democracy. 
You know, no other president just sort of was like, no, you're not going to get rid of me. Well, there were, there were, there was a few, but it, I mean, it didn't, it didn't end well. And not really presidents, more so candidates, and, you know, and governmental office people. There's been some people like this, but it didn't end well. Just let it go. It's time to let it go. So today is a big day, guys. Um, I will come back to you soon and let you know any updates that I have. Keep these people who are, you know, out there being truth sayers, who are out there advocating for all people, not just one type of people, not just one group of people, and for American democracy, you know, for the sanctity and the respect and the dignity around American democracy. Keep them in your thoughts, keep them in your prayers, because it is not an easy feat. And uh, with that being said, I really, really would love to know what you guys think of this. I, like I said, I've been dancing for like, four days straight now because I'm just <laughs> you know this man has scared a lot of people and now he's scared and um part of me feels very very sorry for him because like I said I feel like that we're dealing with mental illness we have been dealing with a very public mental breakdown both from Trump and his cultist for a very long time this is this is all the classic telltale signs of a psychological mental breakdown you know not accepting reality as it is um let me know what you guys think i'm gonna leak that link that joy read video in the description tell me your thoughts be respectful in the comments and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video if you have not already go ahead and click the like and subscribe button hit the bell so you know whenever i post a video okay see you soon bye bye stay safe out there bye